Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to read you a story called Think Green by Christine Taylor Butler. Mrs. Gallick's class is learning about our planet Earth. They learn that the planet provides all the things we need to live. Food, water, and air. To be healthy, we need to keep our planet healthy. Hmm. Well, how can the class protect the planet? They can think green. The class learns about the three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Reduce means to use less of something. Less paper, less water. It means don't waste. Reuse means to use something over and over again. Like wrapping paper. You can save it and wrap another package. And recycle means to send back those bottles, cans, plastic jugs, and papers so that they can be remade into more bottles, cans, and papers. Hmm, the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Next, the class divides into three teams. A reduce team, a reuse team, and a recycle team. Each team will make a poster telling others what they can do to reduce, reuse, or recycle. They will all learn to practice these green habits. Hmm, look at those kids. They're pretty working pretty hard. Sally, well, she is the leader of the reduce team. Her team shows the class how to use less energy. They say, hey, you turn out the lights when you leave a room, and hey, turn off the TV when no one is watching. Sally's team learns that the planet is running out of fresh water, and they show the class how to use less water. Hmm. A barrel can be used to catch the rain. Then the rainwater can be used to water the plants or grass. Hmm, that's a great idea. Well, Robert, he is the leader of the reuse team. His team learns that plastic bags can get into the ocean and harm fish. Mm -hmm. Robert's team tells the class how to reuse. Use cloth bags for shopping, they say. The bags can be used over and over again. Oh boy, that team has a lot of great ideas. Robert's team also shows the class how to save paper. They use both sides of a piece of paper for schoolwork. They also use scraps of paper to make art projects. Hmm. That's great. Well now, Gabriella is the leader of the recycle team. They learn that trees help make fresh air for the planet. Recycle. Gabriella's team brings blue recycling bins to school. They tell the class to separate the paper and the cardboard and place it in the bins. Recycling paper and cardboard could use, uh, could save many trees. Hmm, what a great idea. Gabriella's team also learns that Americans throw away millions of bottles each day. Holy cow, that's a lot. The team puts recycling bins in the classroom for separating plastic and glass, too. The plastic and the glass will be sent back and remade into new plastic and glass items. Hmm, look at that. They made a bin for, this is for plastics, for glass, for cardboard, and paper. Now, Mrs. Gallick's class is ready for one more project. They will make a garden. They will plant vegetables and flowers. The plants will provide food and help clean the air. 
this is great because we already have a garden at Washington School, don't we, boys and girls? First, the class must clean up the schoolyard. They put on rubber gloves and they head out to pick up the trash. They separate the plastic, the paper, the glass, and the cardboard and place each into a proper recycling bin. They are careful not to touch broken glass. That job is only for grown-ups. When the class finishes cleaning up, it's time to prepare the soil and plant the seeds. Boy, they are working hard. Soon, the students have a clean schoolyard and a brand new garden. They have learned many good habits to help the planet. Can you find ways to help the planet too? Hmm. I'm sure that after reading this book, you can think of a lot of ways. I know that in class here, we never throw away our plastic spoons or forks at treat time and at snack time also, our little plastic cups, we reuse them all the time, don't we? And I was thinking of something else. We have markers and when they become deadbeats, you all know what a deadbeat marker is, we take them to the office and put them in the recycle bin for markers. Pretty good idea. I love all this. So I want you to be thinking of ways and talking to your parents how you can reuse, recycle, and reduce. Okay? Thanks, boys and girls. Bye.